conversation and moderating it. And thank you, Koel, for having me here and choosing me to launch your book. Um, I think what I loved about this book was that the writing, the way that you've written this book, it's so accessible, yet it's full of contradictions. Mm -hmm. And even the characters, they're so flawed and so real, but relatable at the same time. Um, and But what I think I loved the most and what resonated with me the most was that at the heart of it, this book is about friendships. And I find myself quite lucky um, to have a set of friends that hold up a mirror to my imperfections. Some of them are sitting in the audience, which I was quite pleasant. And applause for the friends. Now. Yes. <laughs> yeah, I'm really so happy. Um, but yeah, and also friends that hold my hand during the tough times as well as the good times. Um, and what I find beautiful about friendships is that friendships defy logic. They can come from anywhere. Um, Coel and I are friends. We're not from the same generation. What do you um, mean? <laughs> <laughs> what did she mean? <laughs> sorry, sorry. <laughs> Ignore that one. Okay, we're not from the same city. Ah. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> um, but we're still friends. I don't know how, but we're still friends. <laughs> um, and yeah, that's why I'm so thrilled to be here and doing this with you. I love it. Absolutely amazing. So, Cole, just before we get into the meat of it, right, let's tell everyone, what is this book about? Clearly Invisible in Paris. What is this book about? Who is it about? Why did you write it? Yeah. Okay. So, you know, three of us have been so involved in digging deep and, like, analyzing and breaking down all these texts and really being self-indulgent like that. Please show them so, how many notes there are in your book. Also. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not going to. <laughs> so... But I just want to simplify it and not ruin any spoilers. So just that the, when we get into the depth of the conversation, you can actually follow. So it's called Clearly Invisible in Paris. And no, it's not a memoir because I'm not invisible ever anywhere. Okay. <laughs> so um, although this is the point, I have lived in Bombay, Delhi, London, Tokyo. But when I moved to Paris, I have felt completely alienated. Like it was... I was like, okay, it's just a question of language. I come from Delhi, you know the Delhi snobs. I know how to deal with Paris, no issue. And it's just a matter of time, I will get in. But continuously till date feel like an outsider. It is the most alienating city. 